Yeah. Hey. Welcome, welcome. I'll believe it when I see it. Are we? I guess there's I'll a, see it. There it is. I see it. Hey, it's us. No, it's not. Well, it's us from a minute ago. <laughs> it's me without you. <laughs> it's us sans you. On the nose. Hey, there he Great. Is. Okay, let me turn that down. Great. Good job. Nice. Yay. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> What's in the box? What's, What's in, in the, the box? box? <laughs> okay, so uh, I was reading some YouTube comments this morning, and people were like, I remember when this channel used to build stuff. So we're, we're going to unbox more boxes. welders today. <laughs> <laughs> No, we uh, have been lining up a drag race between three, well, when it all started, I reached out to my contacts at ARC3, uh, Frank, and was like, look, we want to we wanna see what's out there in the TIG welding world in that like 200 to 300 amp range. So, and ARC3 sells a lot of brands, Lincoln, Miller, Aesop, Fronius. Um, and then outside of ARC3, there's HTP and some other ones. But I was like, I wanted to cast a wide net and see how many like top of the line TIG welders we could basically stack up against each other. Yeah. Uh, and then like a vague side goal of like, well, we kind of need a new TIG welder. So this isn't like tryouts, but we're just curious because I've been running on some machines that are kind of old. We'd like to see what's out there. Yeah. So we have that big video planned coming up, so get subscribed. We're going to test drive, well, in this case, we're going to test drive the Fronius iWave 235i. It's 230i. 230i. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> and then the HTP Invertig 251DV ACDC. And then you guys have already seen us open that, the Miller Dynasty 300. So these are all in the well, four or five to ten thousand dollar range. So we wanted top of the line. You're taking yourself seriously. We're we're up in our game here at the shop. We want to see what's out there. If I was in charge of naming welders, I'd go with like Panther. You know, yeah. just something to really stand sure. out there. Because <laughs> it's like reading the name tag right. on a fax machine. Exactly. Yeah. The or Elon Musk's son. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name like I think they're gender neutral. X they, sorry, <laughs> them. Their name is dumb. <laughs> and we're demonetized. <laughs> um, so we want to unbox all these welders and set them on this sweet Harbor Freight triple welder cart that we got the other day. Um, and we had so much fun on our last live stream and you guys really showed up. Shout out to those very kind members of our viewership that donated to us. We're we are new to the streaming world, and if you feel as though this content makes you happy and you feel like donating, thank you very much in advance. I think Walker's made it to where it's easier to do. So we're using Stream Labs, which is some streaming software that makes the back end easier. Hopefully it looks cool to you. The quality looks good on the old phone here, so. Great. So anyway, uh, we want to get these welders out of the box and set them up for that big video, but we figured we'd bring you along. So we're going to unbox almost $20,000 worth of welding equipment today. That's a lot. Are you ready? I am so ready. All right. Well, first is the Invertig 251 from HTP. This is a brand new TIG welder. Uh, yeah. Well, inverter machine, which oh, they all are now. I thought you were talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> that would be dope. I'm sure that's coming <laughs> in the future. <laughs> the Vivor. Um, <laughs> where was I going? You're bad for my ADD. <laughs> I'm bad for my ADD. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, so this, oh, this, these welders, uh, HCP is made in Italy, and this is the brand new Invertig 251 before they had the Invertig 300 and 313. So this is a new 251 amp ACDC welder that literally is brand new to the market as of like a week ago. So let's get into it. Huh. Italy versus Austria yeah. versus America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Allies versus allies. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Italy, Austria, America. Wow, this is nice looking. So we got ourselves a torch. It looks like a CK Worldwide style, like, 
uh, cord, ultra flex Heavy cord. Heavy hitters. Is that a flex head? Well, anything can be a flex head once. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, Don't tell Rick yeah. from Miller. <laughs> I'm not sure if it is. I'm not gonna. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll see. The new standard quality. I like it. Yet again, HTP blesses us with a, I'm assuming American made, but anyway, a brand name uh, regulator, which is rad. One hell of a ground clamp. Tell me everything. Ah! It would seem made in America. The heavy hitter, no. HH350. China. China. <laughs> China. Well, is the Victor any better than the Brill we got? <laughs> Does it come with stickers? Because that's what I care about most. Here you go. Do not bend past 60 degrees. Oh, there we go. So flex-ish. So this is an out, so this is like a third party deal. The heavy, I've never heard of heavy hitter. I look think at, that's. Look at that font. I know. This looks like some hot paraphernalia. <laughs> <laughs> You sure I bought one of those before? Pretty sure I asked Peter for a flex head. Oh yeah, it is a flex head. Cool. Oh, that's nice. What, what's under its oh, skirt? Wow. This is heavy duty. It is. It's, it's a heavy hitter. <laughs> As advertised. Good point. <laughs> Do this again? Yeah. Oh, wow. See that? And it's not really fighting me much, so that's pretty nice. And I did ask him for the long hose. Also, shout out to Peter Zila. I said this on the last live stream. Zila Wells on YouTube. He's like the main product designer for HTP, and we, like we're already at like texting level. He's so easy to talk to, uh -huh. and he was very eager to be a part of this welder drag race. Sweet. So he goes, "What do you want? How do you want to? You know, what do you want to test?" So let's see what's in this box. Unlike some other companies. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was very oh foot pedal. Foot pedal. Nice. And sticker. Stickers, stickers, stickers. Okay, so this is another company they've partnered with, the SSC Controls Company. Neat. Four, oh, oh, no way. Right. Yes, way. Guess that is mm. a Miller plug. Mm. Well, that's great because um, they seem to not send so much stuff. <laughs> yeah. Compared to. I mean, what a great idea. We're making a TIG welder to compete with Miller. Let's use the Miller, foot, well, style. Uh, yeah, don't let Miller find out. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> but, but um, of all the bleep, 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 <laughs> of all the brands we asked to join, uh, Lincoln, of course, uh, being sold by Arc3, they were one of the people that Frank helped ask, and they declined. Lincoln declined to send over a TIG welder for our drag race. I think I'm scared. I honestly, knowing what they were going up against, because they knew they were going up against the Fronius, the Miller. They didn't know about the HTP, but I wouldn't have changed their mind. No. So, uh, no Lincolns. Quick question: uh, Do you have a worst welder you've ever used? Brands to avoid. This guy named Chad worked for me for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, his name was Chad. <laughs> worst welder. I'm I'm gonna stick with TIG welder. I mean, I wouldn't use any of the Vivor welders we've been sent for like actual production work. But that doesn't mean it's like the worst, because it worked for the hour that we were testing it, so I can't say much about its feature set. I struggled to dial in AC settings on my Everlast mm -hmm. uh, 210 yeah, EXT. It was just unpredictable, whereas I did a ton of aluminum welding with that Miller the other day, and it was flawless. Part of that, too, could be the... Uh, the gas lenses that Michael Furick sent over. Shout Those out so Furick welding cups. I mean, you could take it, the same as true, like with a bad camera, you can put a good lens on it. I think like a relatively iffy welder, if you put a good torch on it and a good gas lens and some good gas in it, good filler, good tungsten, you can kind of change it a little bit. You can do a lot with a little. But I don't know, I don't have a worst. Do you have a worst? I don't. don't. Yeah. Well, because you've had a Miller, you had the 210 DX. I have a, yeah, Dynasty, I think this is the 200. That you got years ago. 12 years ago. And you love it yeah. still. It's right? great, yeah. yeah. Tell the people what you used to do. I used to build bicycle frames. Um, I mean, I still kind of do. Yeah, me. you could. Could, still got all my, my stuffs. Um, but it was uh, very finicky, very thin wall stuff, so. Um, you can't really mess around on the welding can't. side. I mean, you can. It's just very expensive to make <laughs> <Yeah>. those mistakes. <laughs> it's expensive blowout. Yeah, uh, no. We're not going to get into like, price to performance on this uh, live stream, but do you remember off the top of your head what you paid for that Miller back in 
I do, and boy howdy, has inflation hit the uh, welder market. I, I actually pulled up, I found my receipt in my Gmail from, I think I got it from Cyberweld in 2012, and uh, it was like six grand. With the, the water pull, cooler, right? With the water cooler, with the foot pedal, with, with everything. It was the full TIG runner package. Do you want to know what the complete water-cooled package base price for the Dynasty 300 is now? Uh, Granted, more amperage. I'm going to guess 10% more. <laughs> $13,574. Now, I'm not good at math. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle with how much to tip, so I usually over tip a little bit on that. But well, you'd be that's tipping more than 20%. <laughs> It's an enormous markup. That's wild. Yeah. I mean, it, there's, it's no secret that Miller, I remember last year, 2023 or end of 2022, there was like a industry-wide memo sent out that Miller was raising their prices in a like dramatic way. Um, like the, the, the Multimatic 220, their like 220 amp multi-process machine went from like two grand to 3,800 or something like that. And then that was spread across their range of products. I mean, that dynasty, if you've seen that video where we hung out with Rick from Miller and unboxed that one, that one with no torch, no nothing, just a, a few dense connectors and the, the welder. And you'll be happy you got those dense connectors. Is $10,000 for the Miller Dynasty 300 digital with the screen and everything. I That's where screen. we're at now in the welding industry, apparently. Uh, but there are some people that would like to com go against that, so to speak. Uh, come at me, bro. Yeah, so, which is why we wanted to test drive some other machines. Apparently Lincoln's kind of stuck up, according to the Built Well workshop. Mm. That's a different Built Well. Than yeah, the Built, Built Well Iron Co. is the guy who made that sweet valve on the Ellis saw. Yeah. Oh, oh, and he's sending a new speed valve Ooh. that has a button where you can do a rapid drop. Ooh. So you can dial in, you can turn on and off, and then you can do a rapid feed. I like it. So we'll show you guys that. We got some people asking to get ripping into cardboard. Okay, sorry. <laughs> We're just jabbering. I see that comment a lot. Less jabbering. <laughs> <laughs> so this is brand spanking new. Okay. So what we have here. HTP Invertig 251 DV AC DC. It looks beefy. I don't know what that is, but but here we got some surface level specs. Oh, oh, oh. Oddly satisfying. I'm, don't do oh, the peel. I know, I know, I know. It's just the temptation. We got to give the people a close up peel. Oh, oddly um, satisfying. So this is a 110 240 volt machine. So multi voltage, hence the. I have like 12 of these now. The ubiquitous 110 to 220 plug adapter. It is pre-wired with a plug. Love to see that. Welding modes. Stick, 2T TIG, 4T TIG, um, pulse TIG, spot weld TIG, and gouging, apparently. Cool. Carbon arc gouging. Neat. Hot start stick percentage, 0 to 50%. Arc force stick percentage, 0 to 500%. Soft uh, square wave, soft square wave, triangle wave, uh, AC frequency 220 to 400, up to 100 amps, and 20 to 200 over 100 amps. AC balance from 10 to 90, pre flow from 0.1 to 25 seconds, post flow from 0.1 to 50 seconds. Good lord. Initial amp percentage 10 to 90 percent, final amp percentage 10 to 90 percent, pulses. Uh, 0.4 pulses per second or 5 pulses per second. We can go into this later. Dimensions. And it weighs 54 pounds. Ooh, that's a beef Dang. Cake. Beef cake. Uh, so, Miller style control plug, allegedly. Let's test that. Your foot pedal's in there. That'd be cool to see. I think it's on the top shelf. That is. That is, that is quite the feature. <laughs> That's very nice. Dang. So you can put your Miller arc controls into this thing. That is sweet. Sweet. Um, retail on this boy, the way we have it, 
is four grand. So four thousand dollars. You mean less than my dynasty was? Yep. In and more power. More power, more features, and less. More better. More better. More value. <laughs> uh, and then we also, he threw in regulator, TIG hose, ground clamp, the heavy hitter flex neck. So that's a 26 series TIG torch. That's why it's so big. But given that this is a 251 amp machine, that makes sense. Cool. That's exciting. It, I, love, I love the graphics. HTP is, well, metallic silver. So that's their industry color, their racing color. Nice chunky switch on the back. Uh, we'll turn it on, see the features, but for now, let's put it on the cart and unbox the Fronius. Does anyone have any questions? What do they want to see? Do they want to see any close-ups? Because this is brand new to the market as of like a week ago. Good point. It's worth checking the pinouts. Um, there are far more pins yeah. on this one than that one. I don't know. Only one way to find out. I say we plug it in and let her Send rip. it. Uh, why is Mario from Mario Kart there? <laughs> I already answered that one. Okay. So people are just chilling. All right. Uh, well, did you see around? Did you see everything? It's front, front panel. You want to just power it on real quick and show yeah, the people. Let's do it. What's that little connector protector? I don't really know. There. There's something on the back here. I'm sure it's in the manual. It looks like a relay. Flip it around so the people can see. No, this is our secret. Over oh, here. this is Whoa, the. Pl there's the plug. That's so cool. <laughs> that's probably the see? plug for the uh, water cooler. If mm -hmm. I had to guess. Mm -hmm. Sproing, USAWell.com. If you want to buy an HCP. Very bright screen. A little made in Italy decal on there. Yes, HDP is made in Italy. That's nice to see. The Italians are a spunky bunch. They make things with passion. They do. Which that's that's the number one quality in a manufacturer you yes. want is passionate. Uh, Ferrari. Um, yeah, Lambo. I'm sure there's all kinds of nice things in here. Pedal, trigger. There you go. Now you can see the screen. That's how bright it is. Oh, nice. All the way down to 200 ISO. So we got our process selection, DC, AC, or mix. Yeah. There's a mix feature that's kind of wild. So you can Same have more. like partial DC and partial AC. It's very strange. Mm -hmm. um, mix cool. AC. So this feature allows you to vary the welding current alternating a TIG AC weld with a TIG DC weld. This allows the effectiveness of the TIG AC welding to combine with the penetration of the TIG DC welding, obtaining high welding speeds and creating more quickly the weld pool for cold piece welding. You hear it, heard it here first. We can weld aluminum to stainless with this machine. <laughs> yeah. It's possible to weld thicker metal with modest amperages since the DC portion is much higher than using a completely AC waveform. That's rad. Isn't that cool? I'll play around with that. Greater weld penetration, less deformation, faster creation of the weld pool, and reduced cleanliness of the workpiece. Not sure what that means, but. So, Dirty that's nice. a feature we'll be looking to check out. Um, standard pulse, soft pulse, double pulse. You gotta pull that screen soon. Dear God, I'm done. that screen is so bright. <gasps> Do you see the, pull, the peel? Uh, do the peel again. You gotta give the people what they want. The people's me. Do you want to, here? No, I don't, do, do not patronize me <laughs> with your pre-pulled peel. You don't want my sloppy seconds. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see, back home. Okay, nice, easy menu to use so far. Okay, we've got our classic uh, sort of arc thing. So you got your pre-flow, post, or up, down slope, and post flow. Oh, nice. nice. We got, we can save jobs. Oh, very nice. That's super nice. Um, and then settings. I'm sure there's all kinds of stuff in here. Love that there's a home button. Here, you mess with it. So far, that's a very interesting, very easy thing to mess around with. You got nine presets? Uh, yeah, uh, eight. Eight. Like. 
So on DC mode, it's just straight up. Listen how quiet it is too. Yeah. That's its idle. You hear that? Yeah. Just a little fan. I'm sure it's fan on demand, so you start cranking it, it'll go up. User interface, advanced. Uh-oh. <laughs> It even tells you the input voltage. Yeah, sixty point four hertz here at Lift Dark Studios. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's our HTP spokesperson. Can I do that again, Spike? Thanks, HTP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, can't see it. Well, <laughs> this Robert guy says Walker needs a mic so we can mute him. <laughs> <laughs> we agree. <laughs> yeah. Frank's Models, hello from Connecticut. What's up, Frank? Oh yeah, Matt shared your, your, your desire for the peel. We need mm. the peel. Well, I love how it sounds already. Yeah. And that is an easy to use menu. Cannot wait. Let's put it on the cart. Let's do it. It fires up just like the Miller does to di dissipate the capacitor. Yeah, there it goes. Sweet. And that, is the HTP 251 DV ACTC, ACDC, A B A B C D. <laughs> All right, next. I can't believe they used they got a, a Miller style accessory plug. That is such a big like mic drop. <laughs> mm. I mean, straight up dense, large dense connector, so we could use pretty much any torch as long as we have the gas injection here. So that's nice. That's a very nice. Uh. Hey, we got two dollars from AM Custom Fab. Did you buy that with your bearer bond? <laughs> <laughs> AM Custom Sore Fab. Sore subject, Spike. Thanks for the two bucks. <laughs> yeah, Spike. Spike. Spike told us that he knew we were getting him the whole time, but my first that was a pretty genuine reaction. My yeah. first words were, "Y'all are messing." It's on camera. Y'all y'all can Dude. decide for yourself. Yeah, man. I, that's, mean, I shall belabor I, I the point no further. All right, oh, so, I'm still gonna pass. so we got some <laughs> stickers. Very excited to use that machine. It's sitting next to the Miller now. <laughs> Time for the Austrian. So Fronius, in many ways, is regarded as the Cadillac of TIG welders. I mean, look at that. Mm -hmm. Ugh. They do a lot of things, I think, really well. Oh, and if you want to see more about, basically we tested the previous machine to this, but it's identical in many ways. Go check out that video we shot with Lane from Fronius when she brought the, what was then called the Magic Wave, and now it's the iWave, but basically the same machine. Let, less splash sound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This one in the water-cooled version is uh, well. There's certain ways you should disassemble the torch. Let's say. Wow, we just got a very late on-screen notification from that. Oh really? Super chat. Okay. Like five minutes later. Yeah. But so Walker's helping figure out the whole super chat thing. So if you are so kind enough to donate and put a super chat thing, it gets shown on the screen. Five minutes later. Five minutes later. So, That's wild. Fronius, in my opinion, spends a lot of time on like the feel, mm -hmm. the, the handshake. The form function. Yeah, like the torch has a lot of controls on it and an LED light. Yeah, that's why I just which saw is the button, of, but I wasn't sure what that was. That's and then you have interchangeable um, heads. Can of snakes is going to come out. <laughs> <laughs> I should, I'll read the instructions <laughs> first. Um, not a flex head, but it does rotate, which is kind of cool. Um, and then they have that um, interesting power cable where it's got the triple, triple it's lock. Nice it comes with a sleeve on it already. Yeah, it's like already sleeved and ready to go, and all your cables are in there already. So they are unique in that way. Their torch is unlike any other, and it's sort of all proprietary. Keep your chuckles to yourself. 
<laughs> Got him. I think that was your goal, right? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's actually my vibe these days. I'm Aaron, into burgling. He's a fast And cats. <laughs> that's oh, a good bird. I like that. The Profax Tigmaster. Mm. Now, now there's a there's a, a regulator flex right there. Nice. I do love a flow gauge. Cool. So you got that. That's some branding. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get this. <laughs> it's still February and we have the door open. It's a little chilly. Although it's unseasonably warm. I wave. Yeah, they win for like coolest box so far. We got some graphics on there. If it was Christmas morning, this would be the one you'd be most excited to, yeah, dude. to get. This is the this is the PlayStation 2 that I got. In elementary school or middle school, I don't know. Okay, let's see here. Got power cord, power cord. So that's what's cool is that you they have these sort of specialty quick connectors for the back of the machine. So you can just unplug your 220 power cord and plug in your, oh, that one's got a sideways plug. So that might be a European cord. Never mind. Don't don't listen to me. Learning as we go. Learning as we go. There's a gas hose. Okay. Let's see. I should do a better job because these machines are on loan, so I should be do a better job putting things in the right boxes. Oh wow. Chrome handle? Are you Bad. kidding me? I think the Fronies machines are Form the sexiest. Form function wins, yeah, without a doubt. Look, I mean, come on, man. That's stainless. Right? That's nice. All right. So Ooh. I was right. This is the 110 machine for Ameri uh, 110 cord for American outlets. So you get all three. What's our... Uh, like I said, the sideways plug means it's a 20 inch. Yeah. Ah. So you can't plug big stuff into one of those. Or maybe that is bigger. Yeah, because most outlets are 10 amp, right? They'll tell us. <laughs> Ooh, it's got a USB port. You can charge your phone. Okay, so Fronius iWave 235i. I don't know how many eyes are in there, but. What's the uh, warranty difference on all these? I don't know. Fronius has bothered to say that there's a three year full warranty on this, yeah, which is nice. Funny. Where's that comparison? That's not all of them. That one I just kept for the Miller. Yeah. <clears throat> um, this machine goes for four or five thousand, so right about the same as the HTP so far. So these two are trading punches on the same level, mm -hmm. uh, and Miller is uh, well five grand more. <laughs> so five grand better. TBD. That's what we're here to find out. Uh, so, we did test drive this machine with Lane here from Fronius. In many ways it is the same machine, but Fronius has some pretty trick features. Uh, they've got a tack function that varies the pulse frequency with the amperage. So as you floor the pedal, the pulse frequency changes. That was a pretty wild feature that allows it, the, the idea is to be able to aut autogenously fuse metal quicker. So tacking without adding filler it sh is supposedly easier on this machine. I think it's even like sends Velcro cable ties. On it's here. dude, it's just it's very nice. We got a key card right here. Fronius key card. Ooh. Is this for the upstairs hotel after yeah, party? VIP. <laughs> There's an e-manual. Well, uh, these machines are most often water cooled. Uh, but we got the air-cooled version of everything to test. And yeah. Wait for some juice. iWave 230i ACDC. Yeah, juice it up. She juiced. So rotary switch on the back, just like the other one. Uh, you Zoom. Want to give them a real feel this time? Yeah, you got it this time. Oh, your hands in the way. There you go. Here, listen. How's that? 
the real peel. Nice boot screen. Well, you got to see them. Especially if you get a helmet on. That is a nice chunky knob right there. You're a chunky knob. Does the Proteus dynamically <laughs> compensate for electrode wear or chip geometry in any way? Sure does. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know yet. So let, this is not the video where we will be testing these out. Uh, we are just unboxing them and getting ready for that video. So definitely get subscribed. We'll be drag racing the iWave 230i, the Invertig 251, and the Dynasty 300 from Fronius, HTP, and Miller, respectively. So if you're just joining us, this is just an unboxing. We wanted to get our grubby mitts on the machines, and we'll be setting them all up. Um, Not Vienna time zone. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I mean, that's where it's from, Austria. Oh, wow, we can. That is. Look at a this option. freaking manual. I'm guessing there's several languages in here, but still. Pretty sure this one also connects to Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, this one connects to Wi-Fi. We had some people earlier asking about if anybody's had any experience with Bluetooth foot pedal. Oh, so uh, I believe the foot pedal, we, so that's one thing I don't see. We don't have a foot pedal for this machine. Um, but Lane brought one, and the wireless Bluetooth foot pedal for this machine that also has that hook. Remember how yeah, the Fronius that pedal right. has that sweet hook over the top? Is probably one of the best accessories for a TIG welder I've seen in a long time. It has this cool like red hook that comes up like this. So you can pick it up with your foot and like reposition the, weld, the pedal under whatever you're working on. Because normally, you just have the regular foot pedal and you have to kick it across the floor or drag it by the cord to move it around. Uh, so that's a sweet touch. Um, but it doesn't seem as though they sent us the foot pedal. So HTP did, Miller didn't, and Fronius did not. So I'm not gonna say like points to HTP there, but seems like a no brainer to send over for a TIG welding comparison video. That being said, I find that this is a very fortunate position to be in to be able to test drive three of these amazing machines. Uh, Froni has sent over their consumables in this pretty awesome plastic case. Mm -hmm. Some serrated tungsten in here, some gray, three thirty seconds and eighth inch serrated tungsten and back caps and whatnot. I like it. This ground clamp was one of the, God, that thing is nuts. One of the most impressive things I saw I, I took note of when we test drove this thing last time. So a lot of ground, ground clamps will have like copper, like this one's a stamped steel ground clamp with copper pads inside. I'm sure it's functionally, you know, great, but this is like a giant cast brass. cast brass. God, and it's got a heavy spring on there. I really want to make sure the, uh, the magic pixies jump through the metal. <laughs> What's up, Robert? How about a blind welding test, not knowing which machine you're using and trying to guess? It's going to be hard. Yeah, it's going to be tough with this one, but... Uh, yeah, because Fronius has a proprietary plug on the machine we side. We can do that a couple of different ways, though. We can like we just grab them three, all. and you, know, you guess which machine was welded with, if I'm welding with it. Ah, you know. yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting well, we'll idea. We'll figure that out. That's fine. We haven't fully fleshed out our comparison. Like, so what I want to do. Hit us with ideas like that, though. Please, please. do. What I, one thing I want to do is like pipe welding. I want to do chop up some stainless exhaust pipe and some, some passes. aluminum pipe. Definitely not 6G pipe or whatever. <laughs> but being that TIG welding is used very commonly for custom exhausts and turbo systems, we'll line up some aluminum and stainless pipe joints to compare. Um, we'll have to practice with everything so that we give it a fair shot. So that's what we'll be doing as we go off camera. Uh, and then some thicker stuff, you know, we want to push them all to their limit, do some like quarter inch aluminum, like fillet welds or outside corner joints or whatever, uh, tacking. Maybe, maybe now is when we try to weld some uh, soda cans together. It's like, uh, when you get an AMG, you figure out who made it. Co co mm. It's very, a very strong 
and beautiful Austrian name that I can't read. <laughs> but yeah, someone signed it. 23. So this was uh, last year. End of last year, they sent this one out. I forget that in, uh, in Europe, they use commas and periods the opposite way. So anyway, uh, you've got this wheel spinning on here. What did you tell it to do? Mm, I just did automatic. Uh, oh, it's got to be connected to the internet first. This gives you a whole lot of time zone options. No kidding. More options than time zones, really. <laughs> We're lost in And India. no Zulu, either. <laughs> Zulu Nation? Zulu time zone. All right. Well, uh, so there's some learning to do here. We've got, yeah, process. Please select your country for Wi-Fi. Good Lord. What did you say? America. What do we do here? I just went to New York. Oh, okay. Keep it Tig, simple. stick. Yes, sir. I'll come see you after. Yeah, probably. You, all right. Uh, we're almost done. It'd be back here. Oh, I'm just distracted. Someone keep me on track. Uh, Are we done? No. How's and, and any questions so far in the chat? Yeah, what would you like to see? Yeah, shout out ideas for our drag race video. You want to put that on the cart in the I meantime? Uh, we got a power down procedure here. I'll just turn the switch off. That one shut off immediately. Oh, there it goes. That's cool. Sounds like our heating system. Man, this is going to be a cart full of fun here. That stainless handle, man. That's kind of trick. Which, yeah. I mean, as Smallest far as form factor, sexiness goes. Yeah, it's it's the Testarossa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they'd probably rather be the Testarossa than the Cadillac. I would guess this one was made by the Italians. <laughs> Just looking at it, <laughs> it's got like they angle the screen and the controls up versus these being flat, which is yeah, kind of cool. Like that too. Actually, this one's angled a little bit. This one's not at all. In fact, this one looks like it's angled down. <laughs> I'm sorry if it M feels Miller like I just love to, to hate feelings. on Miller, but it's just like, they're so confident. I've given them a lot of money. Yeah. Well, we're allowed. Yeah, absolutely. Drag, uh, well, it's no secret that I'm a huge fan of the Miller MIG I've had for 20 years, so great stuff, but boy, are they proud of it. Welding and drag. Okay, that's a slightly that, different video. <laughs> the comment section will be fun. Yeah. Can't wait for the press <laughs> conference on that one. Yeah, right. <laughs> People lost their minds over nail polish. <laughs> yeah, that's really going to bifurcate our audience there. Well, everybody in the chat is on board with it. Yeah. There we go. Welding in a tutu. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can compare sunburns. <laughs> <laughs> Weld shirtless and yeah. just, we'll, we'll draw like paint shapes and just get like brand basically backward brand so these are both tanks of argon um yeah this this fancy thing the tigmaster by profax look it's got a dog look at that cute little know, that thing. branding it's got a dog with a welder in its hand that's kind of cool so, somebody's grandpa drew that <laughs> no somebody's grandpa's nephew drew that yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Nephews love dogs. Okay, so this this is not a flow meter per se. It's like your dual gauge one. So we've already, that's what the Miller gave us. This is what the HTP gave us, but Fronius gave us a, a legit ball style flow meter. So that's nice to see. That's the one you want. Did Miller give us that regulator? Yeah. I, you know, at this point, I don't know what comes with the Dynasty. Very little comes with the Dynasty. But in the specific deal we worked out with ARC-3 uh, for the demo of this unit, we did get this, uh, well, Miller brought, bought Smith. It used to be a Smith regulator, but Miller bought them out. But it's a standard dual gauge regulator, which isn't the best for dialing in your flow. Um, Step 15 is pretty, 
pretty great. That's an essential one. <laughs> Is this the Fronius? Yeah, it's the quick start guy. Yeah, step 15. Weld with the mask on and don't weld with the mask off. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's funny. Mine eyes. <laughs> Mine and eyes. <laughs> 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 this is some sharp plastic. I think, I think the, your skin's a little fragile today. You've been bleeding Dude, left and right. I got office hands, apparently. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I like this kind of flow meter. This is the most gangster flow meter I've ever had in this shop. Shit flow. That's hard. Dude, flow so hard, you gotta buy it. No, no. Argon, buy some you want to say anything? <laughs> Dead air. <laughs> Would this, uh, I don't know if you want to answer this question directly yet or not, because it's going to be a day, but would somebody be able to order a shirt if we, if we live in Canada? Mm. You know, shipping. Historically, we hate Canadians. <laughs> Everybody loves Canadians. He is not our customer service representative. <laughs> Uh, you know, shipping really blows. I gotta be honest. Uh, as far as, especially it's just the four of us and we don't have a shipping and receiving manager or an e-commerce person or a website person. It's sort of just me and Spike. Um, there are fees attached to shipping outside of the States. There are taxes, um, customs. I know it just sounds like I'm complaining, but the limited time window I have to like dial in our e-commerce stuff. It's on our radar. We definitely want to do it. And I know it can't be that hard. It's 2024, people ship worldwide. I mean, shout out Marty and Moog from Mighty Car Mods. They ship their merch literally across the globe. Um, they're smart guys, but I'm sure it can't be that hard to figure out. So we'll get there. It's on our radar and we do have merch goals Aaron has been kind enough to work with a local company, Press Press Merch, to get some pretty cool graphics and designs figured out. Some stuff in the oven. Definitely. Somewhere. Stuff in the oven. We want new merch real bad. And let us know how, if you would, you know, yeah, support us on merch. We have a retro t-shirt. We have a pocket tee in the works and some hats. 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 This was the old design. We could also reorder these. These were the first run we did. It makes your pecs look wonderful. We're standing so far apart. This can't be great for, for camera. I'm at the widest. I can <laughs> <do that. laughs> uh, uh, yeah. That flow meter made out of plastic or glass? Plastic. Well, the, because they said they like thicker plastic ones that don't absorb it. It's a two-layer plastic situation. There's like a glass, uh, probably a glass cylinder in the middle, and then it's cased in plastic. Uh, again, this is the one that came with the Fronius, whereas the HTP came with a Victor dual gauge and the Miller came with a Miller branded Smith dual gauge regulator. But yeah, there's a lot of, there's almost $20,000 worth of TIG welder on this cart, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I mean, it was a $400 cart from Harbor Freight. It's no, nothing to sneeze at. Lovely. I can't wait to test. Me too. Well, video coming soon. Video coming soon. Um, probably in a few weeks. We're going to be filming this video at the end of the... It's Wednesday. Well, this is live, so it's Wednesday. Doesn't matter what time. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Get the time zone right. <laughs> uh, but we'll be filming the, the video where we compare all these later this week, hopefully. Aaron, shout out, this talented guy, just got a bunch of railings finished up. Damn, that is a pile of work. It sure is. Nice it? work, dude. So we've reclaimed the table here. We've set ourselves, uh, we've freed ourselves up for a little while. So we're going to be doing some TIG welding. You've done a lot of TIG welding in your life. Yeah. So have I. So I think we got the right hands to push the right buttons. Really sick of MIG welding right now. So. Yeah, especially with that shitty wire. Yes. <laughs> uh, sorry for the coarse language. 
So yeah. Please get subscribed and do the bell thing, whatever yeah. that is. And let us know any, any requests, not just on uh, the drag race, but just in general. What do you guys want to see more of? Yeah, on the channel and also on these machines or in general. Or in our personal lives, you know, whatever. <laughs> the more those tips I'm open roll to coaching. in. Yeah. <laughs> With every tip that rolls in, I will remove an article of clothing. <laughs> or put on an article of clothing, whichever. <laughs> whichever you'd like us to do, cover up or, yeah. <laughs> Ecat, am I watching an episode of MASH? <laughs> yeah, the shipping and all that is ship, great. Ship station, yeah, ship station calculates and does international stuff automatically. I'll look into that. Fireball, oh, the fireball tool welding challenge. Have you seen that? No. Where they do the, he does the, he got like a bunch of different fab shops to fabricate oh, yeah, the yeah, same thing a and then he tests that was good so it's like a 20 by 22 square frame from two by two and then it's got legs on it yeah it was almost a little uncomfortable at times to watch some of those interactions yeah <laughs> well we've got the Langmuir fixture table so we do have one I, I do sit at home and watch those and go I wonder how we would stack up yeah we should do it of course he migs them all so TIG is a little easier to control your heat Well, uh, I am the animator, Vital Deacon, the person who you cannot see. <laughs> <laughs> I need a giant mirror. All right. I'm sort of out of things to say. All right. Any, At least uh, we get that captured on camera. Yeah. Any, uh, any good jokes you heard lately? Life. My personal life, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shake egg. All right. Well, um, thank you guys very you much guys. for the support. Oh, while we're here, uh, we are starting to push content to the Lift Art Garage channel. So all of our motorsports endeavors, uh, fabrication or drifting or anything, there's he's got a BMW E30 that it, we need to get moving of some sort. So mm -hmm. stay tuned to that. Yeah. Uh, we're almost uh, in the monetization level on that channel. So help us get there. We want to keep doing motorsport stuff. We do have the lift back here now. So Any uh, kind of uh, breadcrumbs you can drop for uh, fabrication projects that we got coming out? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, yes. There's a very wild uh, sculpture we made for the Glenver High School soccer team here. Congrats. Yeah, they won states last year, and an old teacher of mine is one of the coaches, and he reached out and had us build, well, we helped them design, and then we build a pretty wild sculpture. Aaron, you built most of it. It was fun. It was we built an 18-inch soccer ball, folks, out of stainless steel. That's a wild build. How many hours of footage did we film? 28. 28 hours of footage. So it'll be out in four months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that one's pretty close, right? Yeah. So... That video is coming out, the full build of that wild sculpture. So that is some real cool fabrication. Um, I, I've started filming a computer desk build today. Uh, kind of went back to basics with some angle iron frames and whatnot. We had a meeting today that has me amped. Personally. Yes, there's a local company, that. Wombat Campers. Uh, check them out, by the way. They make mm -hmm. rad off-road sort of overlanding style campers and we, uh, here at Lift Arc built their first chassis for their J1, they call it, chassis code. The very first one that hit the market that they've been taking to shows, and they just got an order for another one, and we will be filming the build of that custom chassis all from tubular steel. Be fun. And just go check them out. They're just uh, Julie and Brad, amazing people, local company right here in Roanoke. They design and build everything in-house and they are kind enough to lean on us for the fabrication of the chassis. They had some cool stuff in the works. Very cool. Uh, giant monostringer staircase project that we're gonna keep filming. Uh, there's been some, uh, we got our Creality uh, laser engraver, so we've been using that to create plaques and do some other things. Nobody's seen anything of that yet. Mm. Nobody's seen anything of that yet. And that video's coming out in two days, right? So. Check that out. I know that's not fabrication, but it is very it cool. It is fabrication. It sort of is. Sure. And we're going to, we're hope to use it to create uh, name tags, ID tags, part 
tags that we can weld or rivet to the things that we build to sort of machine tags make it make it look a little cooler you know and a little provenance provenance i like it if you will anything you would like to say to, to the people thanks for watching thank you guys yeah like and subscribe <laughs> like and subscribe smash that button and if anybody has any suggestions for the, the shoot off uh drop them in the comments yeah this will be posted as a live video so yeah down below yeah please let us know what you want to see us test regarding these three machines. Again, the Miller, Miller Dynasty 300 HTP Invertig 251 and the Fronius iWave 230i. Head to head to head. Just around the bend. Someday, someday, someday. <laughs> we are going to go watch Monster Trucks this We're weekend. Take my son. It's going to be fun. Why are you missing out on it? Because he hates fun. Yeah, I hate fun. Why? And loud noises. Too loud. You can put earplugs in. Too loud. Not for fun reasons. Oh, I think I know why. I get it. Yeah. I'm sorry, buddy. It's okay. But Monster Trucks! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> bye. Thank you bye. for watching. Subscribe and bye. stuff. We love you. Love you guys. I love you love so you much. Love. I love you more uh, than anything. Guys, the welding contest is not going to be live. No, we'll, this will be a, a heavily produced video that will be posted. Uh, you know, edited and posted because we want to do graphics, we want to do uh, different tests, and it's going to take place over several days. So we don't want to special effects, lasers, all that. Lasers, smoke, lightning. But we're going to do more live stuff. That's fun. Any of this in the Patreon. Good thing our animation team is far more than one person. Good luck, Walker. Ah. Guys, aren't you excited? <laughs> and our animation and our editing team are the same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Shh, so <laughs> our uh, uh, designer and intake and web design and uh, landlord are all the same person, too. <laughs> uh, and uh, definitely, somebody says, see what the limits are on the 120 volt plug amp circuit for all of the machines. Yeah, that's see a good call. On a basic circuit. That is a great call. Yeah. Run them all on 110 and see which one has the tallest ceiling. I know for a fact that the Fronius machine is capable of hitting damn near 150 amps. That's wild. On a 110 volt circuit. You if not past that. it. Uh, I believe Lane claimed 170. That's, I seem to remember 170. That's a lot. To which the Miller guy said, yeah, right. So. <sighs> Shots fired. Let's see what happens. <laughs> mm. Wonder what Lincoln said. Nothing. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> All right. Bye. Woo! Yep. Bye. Love you all. The hundred people that are still here just seeing us BS. Yeah. Uh, we've got to do something else. I got to go. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye.